Alright. What up, YouTube? Danny in Saigon. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Thanks for watching my video. My name's Denny. I'm an expat. I'm an American expat living in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And uh, I'm working as a teacher. I just got paid. And uh, now I'm headed over there to District 1. Stopped at the bank. Was able to deposit money by myself without my girlfriend's help. Uh, there's a little lady in the bank. She's always quick to help me. It's busy there, but she uh, she calls me up and she uh, she got my money deposited in two different accounts. Which is cool. I'm feeling good. I'm saving up for a trip home so I can see my kids. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be there, but uh, if I leave this place, I'm going to miss it so much. I have a nice, easy life here. And, uh, it's a comfortable place to be. I'm taking the back roads into District 1 from District 2. Watch that pothole. That was a big one. I had to go to District 3 earlier and uh, get my, my salary. One month's worth of pay. I don't like doing that, but uh, for this company, it's okay. They always pay me. They're pretty legitimate. They offered me some uh, more teaching work today, but I'm not into it. I need a little time off. I took the whole day off just so I could get paid over there because it, uh, it's a process to go over in District 3 and get paid. It takes a little time. This road here floods out real bad. I came through here last night and it was flooded. you got to be careful. It's not well lit. The motorbikes, they don't have good lights on them usually. You can get them with lights and you can add external lights on them. But, uh, this one has a shitty light so I can't really see back here. Gotta stay in District 1 tonight. It's a lot of fun over there. I like District 1. I think I'll go hang out at the park and uh, find someone to talk to. Probably meet some students. I always meet students when I hang out at that park. Students come from all around Vietnam to, uh, from all around South Vietnam to practice English in uh, the park there, District 1. Because there's so many foreigners there. Yeah, so more people are starting to watch my video, and uh, if you are watching, thank you. Uh, hopefully I can give you some some good information. If you're planning a trip here, uh, maybe you're coming over here to live, or you just want to vacation here. It's a great place to vacation. I, I, I don't vacation here. I mean, I live here. So I can't really tell you about all the hot vacation spots, but uh, I've been to the beach a few times. Bung Tao is not too bad, but uh, the nicer ones are up north. Boom Tao is uh, three hours away from here, a motorbike. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the Vietnamese people are super cool, super nice. <laughs> They're very friendly people. Uh, you'll make friends with them over here. So many people have been kind to me here. When I first arrived, I, um, I was staying in a a hostel. I had no money. I come from uh, Cambodia. I was teaching over there, but uh, I was staying in a hostel and I uh, got on Tinder. Met a nice young lady and uh, she just lived right here in District uh, 1. She's actually in District 4, but they're close by. And, uh, that was before I had a motorbike and everything. Uh, anyhow, I, I made it over to her house and uh, she invited me to her family's house for a nice uh, traditional uh, holiday meal. It was Ted holiday when I arrived. It's a big family holiday like Christmas. And uh, I met her whole family and uh, they were super nice to me. Gave me all their traditional food and got me drunk on wine. Her dad kept giving me wine. <laughs> he likes wine. I like wine too. It's not bad. And uh we didn't last, I guess. I kind of, I just arrived. I kind of wanted to date around, and uh, she was, she was into getting serious right away. But she's a super nice girl. I miss her quite a bit, and her nice family, very nice family, cute kids. She's divorced. I'm a 49, so I meet lots of uh, middle-aged girls here. I've got a girlfriend. I've, I had a girlfriend. We broke up. We got back together. We broke up. We got back together. It's uh, one of those things. It's, uh, 
She's very sweet. I keep taking her back because she's so damn sweet. But it's a it's a nice place to be a single guy here. You can meet a lot of girls and uh, there's a lot of a lot of wonderful, lovely ladies you can spend your time with here. Nothing like being in the West. After my divorce, I couldn't meet a normal girl. I had a hard time meeting a normal girl. I met a lot of a lot of ladies with a lot of baggage. And I'm not I'm not claiming I don't have any baggage, but no point in adding your baggage to my baggage and uh, making lots more baggage. Uh, you can meet girls here without any baggage, and that's kind of cool. Chimin City is a nice place. I really love it, and the food here is pretty awesome. They have quite a variety of food here in in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, out in the provinces, it may it may you know your results may vary, but here there's uh, not only Vietnamese food, but there's lots of international restaurants uh, of various kinds from around the world. Lots of uh, chain restaurants and stuff, and uh, Burger King is here. And, KFC's all over the place. And, uh, Lotteria, which I like real well. I think it's Korean. And then there's a lots of uh, just little uh, cultural eating places, you know. So you can have Korean food or Indian food. Quite a few Indian places here. And I really like food. <laughs> and I really like girls. So if you like food and you like girls, this is a pretty good place to be. If you like beer and food and girls, I mean, this is about it. Oh, like heaven. Through the tunnel we go. It's the quickest way to get over here to District 1. Underneath the river. Uh, it's a pretty massive tunnel. Not too bad in here, but uh, it gets a little noisy and... Uh, it's still breathe, but it gets into a traffic jam in here, it sucks. That usually doesn't happen unless there's an accident. I'm gonna go over here and find a hotel. I'm not sure where I'm going to stay. i got a couple places I like to stay. The internet's not that great. Uh, I might look for a new place. I'm just going to be here one night. I might find a room with a window or something or a balcony. I don't really want to waste any money, but it's hard to come to District 1 and not spend money. Since this is a tourist area, you know, there's a lot of people that are, you know, waiting to beat you out of your money. They have these little street vendors on uh, Bui Bien, Walking Street. They're sweet little ladies, and they're selling, uh, you know, clippers and sunglasses and maps and stuff. I like to make friends with them, but the thing about it is they don't want to be my friend. They want me to be a customer. Every time they see me, they want me to buy something, and... Uh, I'm not, a, I'm not a tourist, I live here. So sometimes I try to avoid them. I took the one girl out to pizza one time. But uh, next time she saw me, she asked me to buy shit off of her. I didn't really appreciate that. never buy anything off of them because I already have all the stuff that they sell, believe it or not. Over here is District 4. Just right over here is District 1. My ex-girlfriend Hoa used to live right over here across this bridge. I don't know if she still lives there or not. Anyways, uh, K 
guess this is probably in my video. It's getting kind of long. I'm not exactly sure whether I'm going to run out of uh, partner space or not. <laughs> it's taxi's turn, damn it. I don't know, in an accident. So, uh, anyways, my name's Denny, and uh, thanks for watching my video, if you are. Uh, I'll try to give you as many tips as I can uh, when you come here, about coming here. Uh, one thing to remember is uh, it's uh, affordable um, and pretty easy. But, you know, if you're a tourist or on vacation, you know, you're going to encounter people who may uh, want to take your money. So, I'm Denny in Saigon, and uh, thanks for watching my video, and have a nice day.